What's poppin' yo, it's your boy PR Links. And it's been a while, bruh. It's been a while since I actually sat down and made a video for you guys. I'm here showing off the uh, new craft weapon here that we got about two weeks ago. It's called the Auger, and your boy went beast mode with this freaking LMG, man. This LMG is pretty nice. I like it because it reminds me of the War Machine. It's kind of like, to me, it's kind of like like a uh, BMR with the uh, with the uh, with the muscle of the uh, of a War Machine or something. It's 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 it's, it's a beast, man. I, I love this thing, man. This thing is my favorite, probably one of my favorite favorite LMGs, man. It's really nice. I got, I, I'm rocking it with the Elo Sight, uh, Quick Draw, and uh, FNJs. I, I, I don't have a really setup for it yet, cause I'm just unlocking stuff for it. But eventually, I will probably let you guys know what the best setup for this weapon is a lot of people don't like it some people do some people don't they, they prefer the other one the trencher but uh i like this thing man this thing is nice of course your boy is playing tactical tdm you know and uh uh well it's tactical game mosh pit now it's not just tactical tdm it's tactical mosh pit and it's a, it's one of the best ideas that uh infinity infinity war have for this game where they finally give us kill confirm and domination on tactical playlist and if you don't know what tactical playlist is is uh a playlist where it's boots on the ground only you could wall run but nine times out of ten you will fall fall down because it's uh you cannot double jump the boosters are off it's boots on the ground and there's a uh, 75 percent of health look at your boy got your boy's going hand with this thing man your boy i did pretty nice look at that now this weapon right here is shoot slow but then it will, it will shoot fast um it will shoot fast as you keep shooting it shooting it so but but this is nice man it's nice anyway man um the, the, there's certain maps where these guns don't really shine too too much i do not recommend this lng on hardcore if you're a hardcore player don't use this it's just choose to slow for hardcore regular core is is really good it's not that bad i got a a regular core gameplay where um i was using this thing and it was doing some damage for me man it was it was doing some work for me but uh this this in in in, in uh in tactical man this gun is beast man because it's tactical got just right the right amount of health with this gun um slow uh fire rate doesn't really affect it too much you just gotta know how to camp with it you know what I'm saying? You not you gotta know how to camp with it. You gotta do a lot of pre-aiming with this weapon, and and you gotta be quick with the trigger. But uh, this is a very nice weapon. I I like it with the FNJ. So far, is the FNJs is doing good. I trying to rock the uh, stock on it. I thought the stock was gonna be the best for this for this weapon, but it, it doesn't really. I, I, it, it, you miss too many shots. I, I just strive from side to side. It, you just miss too many shots with it. So I took the stock off. I might slap a uh, grip on it again and try it with the grip and uh, and uh, and the F and just see how that goes. But this weapon is nice, man. I, 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 I mean, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it does it, it do it do does some work now. As you guys know, if you haven't played uh, uh, IW for a while, the uh, they, they they had this new update. It came out last week, I believe, where you can craft your score streaks. Um, you 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 don't need to unlock them through. You don't unlock them through supply drops. You just use your savage, your savage uh, keys to uh, to craft your your uh, skull streaks 
And I I like the idea. The idea is very nice. I think it's a unique idea. But the one thing like always what we have with these Call of Duty games, they the the a lot of these these uh, studios always do things half ass. And the although crafting your score streaks is a good idea, it feels incomplete because a lot of the crafting that you do to the score streaks is still all you gotta do is slap blonde eye and it doesn't matter how well you craft the score streaks they're still not gonna do any really damage to anyone because you just slap on blonde eye and you pretty much good to go now i'm gonna jump into the second half of this gameplay Look at this guy in the corner. Shot him right in the peepee, -pee, man. Damn. Let's see, man. Now we're going to begin the second round. Your boy is going mini ham with this thing, man. I love this gun, man. This LNG is nice. Anyway, I think that, that what they should have done with the crafting is they should have the epic craft of your score streak should have been something where the score streak is not affected by blonde eye and they could have it where it's not affected by blonde eye and and it gets it, it, the health is lowered so that way you you still have a chance to take it down but the score streak will not be affected by blonde eye you see what I'm saying? That should have been the epic version of the score streaks. You know what I'm saying? Because that way, as you craft the score streaks, right, you'll be able to get the score streaks in an epic mode and the score streak will actually work. You feel me? The score streaks that, that, that uh, AI operated will be able to work. But they didn't do that. It's so, so, it, it's so simplistic. It, it, it mind bothering me man that that they don't think of these things like you tell me that there's not one person in the damn studio that can think of this and say okay listen why we just go ahead and take the make the epic crafting of the epic version of the score streaks that are ai operated to be immune to blind eye so that way the score streaks would actually do something. Dude, let me tell you, man. One of the uh, variants of, of crafting of this of the care package is now that you can flip it, right? So I got, of course, I got that. So I, I was playing um, in the uh, terminal, right? And I flipped my score, my, 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 my drone package and I got a warden. And I was like, damn, I got a warden. I'm going to go ham. Dude, this stupid warden flew throughout the whole map. They ain't let off not even one shot. I'm telling you, it was like freaking, um, it, it, not, it, it didn't even get one shot, bruh. Not one. It was like Ray Charles was mining up the freaking gun, gunner, man. Not one freaking shot. And it was because the opposite team was running blind eye. So it's like, damn, what's the point? What's the freaking point on having a warden if, if you just slap on blind eye and you and, and, and it does nothing? It just occupies space. You know, my boy Blow Ransom, if you don't know Blow Ransom, man, he's in one of in my future list. Go check him out, man. He's pretty cool. Was saying the same thing like, dude, what's the point of using the sentry gun? I'm not using this this thing no more, man. It doesn't get me any web, any any kills, and, and people with blind eye just get next to it and just shot it off. Easy freaking points for their score streaks. You see what I'm saying? It's stupid. They should have a a freaking variant in an epic a epic variant of this score streak should have been immune to blind eye. You know what I'm saying? I know they can do it because as I, I just saw a variant in one of the um uh weapons variants 
that you can that you that you can uh, that you can get on the quartermaster when you when when your psych is immune to 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 different perks like cold blood and hardwiring and stuff like that. So I know they can do this. I know that they they able to just made a, a, a variant on the score streaks where they be immune to blind eye. So why not do that? I mean, it's so silly, so freaking silly. And 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 that's why a lot of people are turned off from this game. Every Call of Duty has the faults. Call of Duty games are not perfect, but what makes a good Call of Duty is map flow and score streaks. Let's be real here. You could be shooting freaking, you could be throwing rocks at people. As long as you got good map flow and you got freaking badass score streaks that you can actually either operate or they just go ham on, on or they go ham, people gonna have fun. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand what is so difficult about that like this guy i don't i can't uh, you know you could tell me well infinity war is not the same studio everybody there is practically practically new i don't care if you have played call of duty you know that call of duty is about score streaks and my flow anyway man look at that your boy went 30 what was that 30 and 32 and 14 man i did my thing we got the w and banana, banana, I got the last kill, baby. Anyway, man, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to donate, go hit that P, P on the freaking uh, YouTube banner on my channel. Peace and later, man. Adios.